I thought I would do a little test of some sorter wigs. I picked out a few that are available on Amazon. A few brand names and a few that are, well, at least I don't recognize the brand. I'm kind of curious as to whether I will be able to tell any difference between them. I don't think I've ever directly compared sorter wigs. The wicks I'm testing are not all the same. I did shoot for a consistent width for what was available with free shipping from Amazon. But I did want to compare the difference between like no clean, lead free, and a couple of different fluxes. See if I can really notice any difference. So here's what I'm looking at. First I have three no clean sorter wicks. Here's the Less Now brand. It's made in China. And as you can see, the brand is not on the label anywhere. Kind of makes me suspect Less Now is not the manufacturer. It's a 10 foot spool at 79.9 cent a foot, so it's not an extremely cheap sorter wick. Now here's the TOWOT brand wick. It also is made in China, but the brand is printed on the product. Doesn't make it a better sorter wick, just wants me to think that. This is a 9.8 foot spool at 61.1 cent a foot. Here's the NTE brand. It is made in the US. The wick is only 0 0.075 inches wide, but I went ahead and ordered it. I've used NTE Sorter Wick in the past and it's been fine. I don't think I've used the No Clean before. Not sure about that. Now this is a 5 foot spool at $1.26 a foot. Now the Chemtronics brand. It also is made in the US. This wick is 0.11 inches wide and I've used this before. It's been a long time but I remember it being quite good. This has a type R flux so it should be the most active of all the Sorter Wicks I've got here. This is a 5 foot spool at $2.15 a foot. I would normally not pay this much for sorter wick, but I did want to have a quality reference to compare to. The MG Chemicals wick. This wick is made in Japan. It's 0.1 inches wide and it has an RMA flux. I've probably used this before, I just don't remember. I've used so many MG Chemical products that I would be surprised if I hadn't tried their sorter wick. This is a 5 foot spool at $0.69 cent a foot. And last, I have the Goot Wig, or however it's supposed to be pronounced. This wick is also made in Japan, and this came from Amazon Japan. Now this wick is 0.1 inches wide and has an RMA flux. It is also the only one of the group that is listed specifically for lead-free sorter, so I would think it has a bit of a higher temperature flux. This is a 65.6 foot spool, the only way to get the free shipping, and it runs 41.1 cent a foot. One note here on the price per foot. All these came with free shipping, but of course some of that price has to be part of the shipping and handling of the item. The high price of the Chemtronics I think is an example of that. How to test the different desorting braids has puzzled me. It's such a subjective operation and there are so many variables involved in each use. But there are some differences I've noticed after just a bit of messing around with them. And I could easily see different people having a preference of one brand over another. I've got this prototype board here to test on, kind of just to show each wick at work. I'm going to try and get about the same amount of sorter in each hole, not going to be perfect by any stretch. And I'm using 6337 10 lead sorter. Only a couple of the pads have much copper on them, so most are close to the same heat load. I have the soldering iron set to 650 degrees for the following test, and all temperatures stated will be in Fahrenheit. This is a cheap board, so it won't take too much heat and I think this is about the lowest temperature to be usable with these sorter wicks, and maybe even a bit too low for a couple of them. I'm going to start with the Chemtronics. This wick seems to be about the most form holding of the batch. As I apply the soldering iron, the wick doesn't spread apart much at all. I would call it a very stiff sorter wick. And it does a very nice job of wicking the sorter. I think this takes a bit more heat than the others, but it's supposed to be the widest, and it is made a bit different. I don't feel 650 is hot enough for this wick. Next up is the TOWOT wick. It's not as dense of weave. But works very well at the low temperature. Now the Goot wick. This wick seems to be very soft and pliable, but still holds its form quite well, and I really like that. It also seems to hold sorter very well. This is the Less Now brand. It does okay. Again, maybe not quite enough heat for this one. The sorter doesn't really look like it's flowing through all the braid. The NTE wick, it does well. 
I will say for a no-clean, it seems to leave a bit of a dark residue behind. Of course, I don't think no-clean has anything to do with how much or what the residue looks like. This wick has a very similar feel to the Chemtronics one, holds its form, and is a bit on the stiff side. And last is the NG Chemical Super Wick. I think it might be the softest of the bunch. It doesn't hold its form as well as the Goot Wick, while being about the same softness. But solder flows through the braid very nicely, even at this low temperature. Okay, I have here a production PC board that should be able to take a bit more heat. So for these tests, I've set the iron to 750 degrees. I'll put fresh solder in the holes and then clean the flux off. The NTE, this is really about the right width for these pads. And it has no problem at all. The TOWOT brand? This one has been doing pretty good for a cheaper wick. Next is the Less Now brand. The bit higher temperature does help the sorter flow better with this one. Now the Chemtronics wick. This wick has really performed very good. I think it may have the strongest wicking action out of the lot. I don't know if that's because of the flux. It's so much like the NTE and feel, but it does seem to pull out the sorter a bit better. The MG Chemicals wick. Works very good. I've been very pleased with this braid. And finishing up with the Goot wick. This may become my favorite sorter wick. I really like the softness of it. It's not expensive, so that's a big plus. And I just really like the way the sorter flows in it. You can see that at 750 degrees, all six of these desoldering braids work well. But there are some noticeable differences between them. Two of the braids are much stiffer and hold their form very well, and those are the two US made braids. Two of the braids are very soft, and those are the two made in Japan. And then there are two braids that fall in the middle, the two made in China. Here's the Chemtronics wick. It's very difficult to pull apart, and seems to have a lot of flux. I'll check under the microscope to make sure I only have one strand of wire. It's that thin a wire. So I'm reading 25 ten thousandths of an inch. That would be a 42 gauge wire. With so much flux, it might be smaller. But the micrometer might apply enough pressure to push most of the flux away from the wire. Of course, I'll have to clean the anvils after each measurement. Now the NTE braid. It also is difficult to pull apart. I cut a little too long of a piece and that adds greatly to the difficulty. There is a noticeable flux on the wires. It's not as sticky as the Chemtronics and maybe not quite as thick. But it measures the same 25 ten thousandths. What is not very visible in the video is that both the Chemtronics and the NTE are a wire braided tube mash flat. I think this is the main reason they both hold their shape so well and probably the reason both these braids are much stiffer than the others. The Less Now brand. The braid spreads apart much easier than the last two. And the wire measures about 23 and a half ten thousandths, so that's not even a wire gauge size difference. That would be somewhere in between a 42 and 43 gauge wire. And the TOWOT brand. The TOWOT and the Less Now are similar, but they are not the same. The TOWOT has a bit finer weave to it. And in using them, I would rate the TOWOT a little better than the Less Now. And I am sure that it's not because of the label. But the wire size is the same, 23 and a half ten thousandths. Now to the two made in Japan. The MG Chemical Braid pulls apart very easy. I can just pull a single strand out of the braid if I don't cut too long of a section. With a 23 ten thousandths wire size, so this is the smallest so far, but still not even a wire gauge size difference between any of them. The Goot Wick, again, is very easy braid to pull apart. And has the same wire size as the MG Chemicals, 23 ten thousandths of an inch. 
I kind of find that interesting. After a few feet of each of the braids and a few hours of testing, I have some thoughts. First, all six of these sorter wicks worked well, so there were no stinkers in the bunch. But I do now have my favorite, the one I will reach for first. And the wick I will reach for first is the goot wick. I just enjoyed using it more than the others. I didn't see much difference between the MG chemicals and the goot wick. The goot wick seemed to hold its shape a bit better, so that is what pushed it into the top spot. I think both are excellent. Couldn't go wrong with either one. After using both of these a bit, I now don't think I've ever used the MG Chemicals braid before. Surprised me a bit. There is a place for the Chemtronics wick. These pads here seem to offer a real challenge. All the wicks had a hard time with them, but the Chemtronics was the most consistent at clearing the holes. This is what makes me think the Chemtronics may have the most wicking power. That very tight weave and what seems like plenty of flux works very well. And while the Chemtronics and the NT have different fluxes, the copper braids look almost identical. So much so, it wouldn't surprise me if Chemtronics made this braid for NTE. I would rate this Chemtronics wick over the NTE, but I think that is mostly due to the flux used. The downside of both the Chemtronics and NTE are the price. They're both expensive. And I just liked using the softer braids a bit better. As for the Less Now and the TOWOT brands, I do like the TOWOT a little better than the Less Now. But if I just needed a small spool of sorter wick, I would just order the MG Chemicals, about the same price per foot, and I like it quite a bit better. I learned quite a bit while doing this. Never really thought much about there being a noticeable difference between sorter wicks, but there seems to be. Thank you for watching.